this question they are asking the increase in surface energy when radius of a soap bubble is increased from 2 cm to 4 cm we given the value of the surface tension uh, increase in energy whatever be the energy it's same as work done so increase in surface energy can calculate as work done we have a formula for work done in terms of surface tension work done is surface tension multiplied by the increase in area for if you learn the definition for surface tension that was work done per increase in area so surface tension value is already given increase in area will be final area minus initial area for a sphere area is 4 pi r square for a bubble uh, there are two surface areas in contact with the air one inside the bubble and outside the bubble so when you calculate the increase in surface area final area minus initial area you should by multiply by 2 counting the two surface areas inside and outside this is surface tension values just uh, take out 4 pi outside common into 2 will be 8 pi final radius is 4 centimeter 16 into 10 to the minus 2 whole square 10 to the minus 4 2 centimeter will be 4 into 10 to the minus 4 and squaring you can complete the calculation value is 24 pi into 10 to the minus 5 two. So a similar question, calculate the work done in blowing a bubble of 5 cm radius. Only difference is the initial radius, the starting radius will be 0 here. The steps are almost the same. You find the work done as surface tension increase in area. Surface tension value is given. Final area minus initial area, since bubble has two surfaces with air, it will multiply by 2. But the initial radius and initial area will be 0 because we are blowing a bubble from nothing. Now we substitute the values again. The 4 pi comes out. Uh, our final is 5 centimeter, 5 into 5, 25 into 10 to minus 2 also 10 to minus 4. Just calculate the final answer. 5 pi into 10 to minus 4. 